Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings and today it's a bit of a confusing single malt. Confusing why? I have here a release from Malts of Scotland, the famous uh, German bottler and they have a range of uh, malts that they bottle under the series images. You have the uh, images of Isla, images of Dufftown, all these images are releases of single malts in which the distillery is not disclosed so it's a bit of a guess but in this case this is confusing because this bottle is called images of Tomintal and it is the image that you see here is of the famous uh, car bridge pack horse bridge which is a beautiful bridge as you can see in the pictures it's a beautiful bridge but you would be forgiven to think that this images of Tomintal contains Tomintal single malt that would be your first guess wouldn't it it was my first guess as well until I tasted it now, so I did some digging and I did some looking up and when I found on uh, Google Maps the uh, Carbridge Packhorse Bridge, it is indeed in the region of Tomintal and the Tomintal distillery is actually about 40 kilometers away. Much closer though, only 22 kilometers away, is another distillery, another Speyside distillery called Balmanac. Now Balmanac or Balmanac is a distillery that is not as well known there are not that many Balmanac uh, official releases you have the Deerstalker which is often Balmanac but other than that I think Balmanac has become more popular because of its Karoon uh, gin that they produce but anyway the Balmanac distillery is a lot closer and I do believe that this is in fact a single malt from Balmanac I do not have any certainties but I've tried it before and it's what my what my taste buds tell me this is not Tom and Tal, this is Balmanac but then again I'm not sure hey who am I anyway this is a uh, single malt that uh, uh, was bottled at 53.2 percent ABV wow and most important uh, to mention here is that this is actually a first fill tawny port cask and that explains the uh, the pinkish hue on this golden single malt it has this red pinkish red hue in there and that is of course from the port cask right so no age statement whatsoever not at all it just says images of Tom and Tal and the ABV of 53.2 percent ABV and it also says that there were no less than 359 bottles let's give this one a go this images of Tom and Tal, the car bridge pack horse bridge by malts of Scotland at 53.2 percent ABV on the nose Mm. It's very candy-like, and I'm not saying that it's fruity like candied fruit. No, it's really it's like candy, actual candy. I get loads of butterscotch and and Werther's original, those candy red shoelaces. You know those, or the and and, and the Superman logos, those apricot candies. There's lots and lots of that in here, and also lots and lots of caramel and red fruit, but. In all honesty, there's also a sour note in there, and it is just, in my opinion, too much. It's simply too much, and if you nose this for more than a couple of minutes, like for example now, initially those notes were somewhat camouflaged, but now I'm getting a few, truth be told, off notes. I'm getting like, like some sugared, stale chocolate, some baby breath. But worst of all, something that reminds me, and forgive me the expression, but something that reminds me of plastic bags on fire. And it's just not good. It's, uh, it's not pleasant. It's, it's stale vase water or a, a, a pond. Uh, it's, it's not my copper. Nope. This is not for me. Well, hopefully it recovers on the palate. Let's find out. Mm. Mm. It's very sour. Sour red fruit, but it's very piquant as well. Very spicy. I get some cloves. It's actually quite alcoholic as well. It's simply not very nice, actually. Um, there's hardly any, hardly any red fruit anymore. It's all about it's all about 
Ouch. It's a bit like, like, licking rotting oranges. Yikes. It's... Nope, this is not for me. Right, on the finish. Uh, it's mercilessly long, in my opinion. It's medium long, but too long to my taste. It's very sweet and sour and warm. And this is... This is just not for me. This is this is too sour, a bit off. Yeah. Nope. Now, I'm afraid this is one of the very few duds that is bottled by Malts of Scotland. I, I, I remember one particular nasty Ocantosh in 1991 that had been uh, finished on a Chateau Montrose wine cask, a red wine cask from the Haute Medoc region, and that was <laughs> it was bottled in 2009. That was totally off. It smelled like rotten eggs, and it was very sour as well. This is not, not, not half as bad as that one was, but to put that in perspective, I've tried over 200 releases from Malts of Scotland, and this is only the second one that I don't like, so statistically 99% is, 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 is good to excellent, so this is one of the very few, only the second, as far as I know, dud that they've bottled, the second release that they've done in all these years that, that I don't like. Maybe it's me. It's not my glass. It's it's the perfectly clean glass. It's not the bottle. I've tried it before, as you can see. It it just it just doesn't. It just doesn't get. I don't like it. I do not like this. There you have it. Uh, I've tried it a couple of times, and I was hoping that with keeping it in the bottle and some air, it might improve. But it simply doesn't. Well, hey. Uh, They've, they've bottled many, many good things at Moss of Scotland. This is just not one of them. And that's all for this whisky rambling. And I hope to see it one of Mark's whisky ramblings real soon. And until then, may the mob be with you.